cow taking a gentle stroll across the road. Oh, 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 oh here comes another one. one. <laughs> this one's decided across the road as well. Welcome to, where are we? Malvern. The Malverns. There's the Malverns over there. Oh, they're all moving now. Yeah, they're all on the move. <laughs> We're getting inundated with cows. So I'm in the Malverns and I'm on my way to get vaccinated against COVID-19. And uh, so far, it's been quite an uneventful trip up until now. So here we are at the Free County Showground. I'm about to go in to get my COVID vaccination. I've been told to park up and wait for my appointment time and then go into pod one, which is over there. So um, I'm about to go in now, get me jab. I'll try and film it just like I did when I filmed the time I gave blood. If you haven't seen that, if you haven't seen that video, then check that out up here. Um, it's quite funny. I gave blood as a Christmas present to the NHS. Uh, yeah, and they let me film it. So uh, worth a watch, as long as you're not squeamish. Right, I'm going to go in, get me jab. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that must be so much. They say that they're like sold out naturally. I didn't quite smuggle my own hands around to be honest. I think I did say my husband, we should have sold it. We probably sold it twice, but we bought it. Oh, and look, we obviously don't want to because we love our camper van and it's a good way to help you go away quite easily. Everyone's, um, everyone's in the camper vans now because nobody's going abroad. No. I've already cancelled. Um, free flights already, I've lost that one. Yeah, no, we wouldn't. We normally go away, but like, it's a good thing. Put the money back in the position for me. That's right. Um, that's your leaflet about okay. what you've had today, okay? And this is your card. If you, have you got your second appointment booked yeah. already? Bring that along to your second appointment. Like I said, next 24, 48 hours, you might get some mild flu like symptoms and APR. Um, you can take paracetamol for that. Right. After a couple of days, if you're still feeling really unwell and a bit concerned, bring the 111 or your GP surgery just to have a chat. Um, it'll probably be fine, a lot of people don't have anything. Um, keep wearing your mask, hand washing, social distancing. Um, and then if you can stay in your car for 15 minutes now, if you do feel unwell at any point, press the horn and one of the marshals will come and check you're all right. If after 15 minutes you feel good, then you can carry on with your day. 15 minutes. 15, yeah. one okay. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care. Just, yeah, go yeah, to the door. Yeah, yeah there should be, yeah. Thank you. Well, there you go. I've had the Oxford Zeneca vaccine. Um, now I've got to sit here for 15 minutes to make sure I don't feel unwell. They said to sit here and if I feel dizzy or sick or anything, got to bib the horn and someone will come and attend to us. I'm half tempted to bib the horn just to see what happens. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Maybe that's a bad idea. Right, I guess it's time to head back now. Do some work on the camper. Got solar panels to fit. <laughs> Isn't that right? That's right. <laughs> She's eager to get her panels fitted, so um, fingers crossed, no ill side effects, and uh, we get the panels fitted. Come on then, let's go. Happy to report, I've got back to the van okay. No ill side effects, apart from a bit of a Feels like someone's poked me in the arm. I guess they have. My arm feels fine. Oh, I feel fine. Don't see what all the fuss is about. So now I'm going to fit the solar panel to Rebecca's van. First stage of this is to actually route the wires. I'm going to put all the wiring in place first before I actually fit the panel to our nice unistrut roof rack. I don't know where Rebecca's gone. She's disappeared. <laughs> Let's find some wire and get on the roof. Now when fitting a solar panel to a roof, most people would use these flanges. They drill holes in the roof of their van, then pass the cables through there, through the hole in the roof of their van, stick these down, seal these up, do these up nice and tight, and that's it, it's all nice and sealed. But because Rebecca's already done her ceiling, everything in her van's completely built, so it leaves us very limited on where we can actually fit one of these. So what I'm gonna do is something a little bit crafty. I actually did it to my van when I fitted the reversing camera. I'm going to use these holes that are already there. Most vans have got these, and I highly recommend using them. And that's these 
plastic grommets that are in the back of the vans and these are here from factory and they're usually fitted here for um, like beacons and stuff and warning lights if the vehicle's used for breakdown recovery that sort of thing or even an ambulance it's somewhere where they can fit the cables through the roof this is st factory standard and these are made of plastic so what i'm going to do is just simply drill two holes in this plastic grommet and then thread it through into the inside of the van and by doing this it also eliminates having to drill through the metal of the van because these are plastic so the solar cable that i'm going to be using is six mil so i've got a six mil drill bit simply drill two holes in this one each side you can see it's plastic Just like that So this end goes to our solar panel, which means I've got to thread the whole length of this through the van. So that's going to be a task. I'll right, undo that. And up through there, through there. So I don't even know if this is going to work because these are quite small. I don't think it's going to do anything. Oh, it does. It does grip on there. All right, right, okay. We're going to use that then. We'll end up with that sticking out of the box like that. I think that'll be all right. Just don't drop it, Mel. So there's the cables. They're going to go through this plastic grommet. No drilling holes in metal. It's all plastic. So I'm going to carry on threading these through. And once I've got this on the end, once I've got it all threaded through, then I'll seal it up with sealer, and uh, we should be good. That's going to make for a really nice job now, I think. Pull that for a bit more. So I'm just going to leave that loose like that, all nice and loose, and then I thread the wires through, down through the rest of the van, underneath the bed, and to the control panel. Now, from inside the van, the wires, this is where they end up coming out of. They end up, if you pop the interior light out, you'll see that the other side of that plastic grommet is right up inside there as you can see and it makes it really convenient because now all I've got to do is trace these wires through this channel around this bend which is going to be the difficult bit and then down there's access holes all the way along here so it should be quite simple and once we get down here there's another access hole just under the bed there and then from there I can hopefully thread the cable through under the bed behind the sink where Rebecca is right now where the controller is Rebecca was busy, she's sealing the floor with UPV sealant um, because she's got a little doggy and it's going to get a bit wet and messy in there at some point, I doubt, yeah. <laughs> when he goes to the beach and stuff and gets his little wet paws, so she's simply sealing all the little cracks with UPV sealant. What have you got there, just watered down UPVC? Yeah. And just working and it pen. into the cracks <laughs> Yeah, and a pen because we couldn't find a brush. <laughs> Anyway, right, back to uh, threading these wires through. I'm going to turn the camera off while I do this because it's going to be a real serious pain to get those wires around that channel. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be that entertaining watching me curse and swear. So I'll just switch the camera off and I'll get right back to you. Well, I must confess that was quite simple, really. It didn't take me too long at all. I simply threaded the cable through around this corner. It went really well, but around about here, there was something stopping it. So I had to take the cable out, straighten it out a little bit, take the curve off of the cable where it's been rolled out. Once I straightened it out, it went straight past there. And I've managed to get it down to this little service hatch here. And I've simply drilled two holes in that. And that's where it's going to exit out of that channel. I tuck it around the back of here, down this crack in the bed under the bed, through these posts, and all the way to the other side. Look at this for service. <laughs> Coffee time. <laughs> Thank you. And I was about, just about to do the wiring as well. So before I stop for coffee, I'll just quickly show you what I'm going to do and my thoughts about wiring up solar panels. Because I do get asked this quite a lot. Do you connect the solar panel or connect the wires first? Well, I think personally, you're probably better off 
connecting up your wires this end before you connect up your solar panels. That's what I'm going to do next. Oh, there we are, that's my CTEC controller there. Now this is a um, MPPT charge controller. It's also taking power from the alternator to charge the battery, so it does both jobs um, all in one unit, which is what we like. So right now it's all connected up on there. I've got to fit the solar panel to the roof and then plug it in. And hopefully we should be good to go. Now we're back on the roof, I'm going to glue this down and to do that I'm simply just going to use some mastic. But before I actually glue the top down, I'm going to seal around the wires as well. So a little bit of sealant around those, the base of these wires and then glue that down, we should be good. Now just doing this would probably do, that will probably be fine just like that. But because Rebecca wants to use this cover, that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm just going to flip that over like that somehow. And get some of this sealant around there as well. Now I've put loads on that leading edge because it's quite high up. So hopefully all we've got to do now is just put that in place. Try and keep it as symmetrical as I can. Pretty much it, look at that. Yeah. Hold that down with some masking tape. Yeah, there's not going to be no water getting in that. You saw in a nice straight line. Okay. You doing it nice and straight. Looking good. Yeah. The plastic saw. She's got a special plastic saw. Or should I say, Bob's special plastic saw. Should help really, shouldn't I? Okay. <laughs> That's better. Hello. Hello, Ray. Yeah, I do for now. We get the solar panel down, put it on the wall, and then put it on the roof of the van. Move the van right back up right. against the wall, and then put the solar panel on the roof. Two stages. That's a plan, anyway. Right. So I'm going to get up here, put the panel right away. Oh, hang on, we need it the other way around. Why is that? Because the wires are here, so you can flip it around. Okay. That edge needs to be on the floor. So to me? No, around. Yeah, this, so this is on the floor. This so it's to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, lift it. That's it. You got it. And, um, got it? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, I've got it. Hold on, I'm just going to put my arm That's and leg it. underneath. There we That's go. That's it. Put me on this little more toes. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Right, now I'm going to pick it up. Turn it around. A bit of wood. Is it quite in the right That's it. So as close as I can get it. Oh shut up, don't worry. So 
What I'm going to do is angle it to you. Yeah, towards me. So you take the top. I'll take the top, you take the bottom. And I'll take the bottom. That's it, you got it. I'll take the time. That's it, you got it. Take the time. To me, to me, to me. We just rest it over the other side of that. That's it. There we go. A bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Let me just check. Yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room. Well, that went smoothly, didn't it? I think that went really well. That's a problem when you've got a big solar panel. See, I've got two smaller solar panels, much easier to put on the roof. But when you've got one big solar panel, a little bit of ingenuity comes a long way. All right, let's get on the roof and finish putting the solar panel up. So now my solar panel's finally on the roof, I can fix it to the Unistrut. And to do that, I've manufactured or fashioned some brackets. Where's my brackets? Oh. My trusty assistant. <laughs> yeah, some, and the rest. My solar panel fitting kit. This is my solar panel fitting kit. This is pretty much all you need. Some roofing brackets from Wix's, cut down, holes made a little bit bigger. And these are gonna get screwed into the side of the solar panel, like so. <laughs> gonna screw these into the side of the solar panel like that. And then one single bolt going straight down into the unistrut, into those fancy unistrut bolts, which um, I believe are in your passenger door pocket. I need four of those, please. Yeah, Completely yeah. forgot about them. <laughs> Vaccination update. Arms a little bit sore. Apart from that, I feel fine. Might even get this done today. Four of them. That's it, perfect. Almost forgot my Unistrut nuts. Everyone needs Unistrut nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera off because I've got to lift the solar panel up and the camera is sitting on the solar panel. Now, just a quick word about drilling into the side of your panels is actually double walled. It's, it's got twin walled. So before I drill these screws, these are self-tapping screws, rather than just drill these straight in as they are, always, always drill a pilot hole first. So the pilot hole allows this to go through a lot easier and you get it in the right place as well, just like that. If you try and just drill straight in using one of these, what happens is this goes through the first um, part of this aluminium profile, and then when you go, to the, go through the second part of the profile, because the, it's still spinning, the threaded part here rips out the aluminium from on the first wall of this profile. So you're only actually screwing into the, the rear part of this profile because it is double walled. Does that make sense? I think so, yeah. If you're gonna use these, basically, make sure you drill a small pilot hole first and it makes it look a lot better and it's a lot stronger so now these are in this is how it's all going to work together this is how it's going to bolt through into the uni strut i need to tuck the wires out from underneath the panel plug them in and then put my panel in place and then attach these brackets again to the other side of the panel that's what i do right now just to demonstrate why i use or why i like to use uh, unistrut is to show you, I'm going to show you how simple it is to use. So here's our unistrut nut, 8mm bolt, get our nut, slide it into place under there, put the bolt through, and as we turn it, the unistrut nut, I'll move you closer, I don't know if that'll work, even Rebecca's interested, look. <laughs> You're fascinated, aren't you? I'm fascinated, yeah. Fascinated, fascinated by unistrut nuts. So as I turn this up now, you can see the nut finds its own place. Can you see how it's working? Yeah. See how it lines itself up? There you go, look at that. Absolutely perfect. And that is why I like to use unistrut, because these nuts, they do actually find their own position. There's no messing around.
I'm talking about Bob the Builder. <laughs> Here he comes. That's funny, that is. <laughs> It's as simple as that. Four nuts, bolts it down. It's so easy, even old Bob could do it. <laughs> Trying to make a video, and this is what I have to put up with. Hand clubs! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you subscribe. Yeah. Right, I'm going to carry on with this now. <clears throat> all I've got to do now is remove all this masking tape. This is set now, so that's quite nice. Not a sunny day, so I've been really lucky. So if you like this video, please do give me the thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Have a safe. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Rebecca's channel too. Right now, I've retrieved my camera. I'm going to go and have a rest after all I've just had my vaccine. So uh, it's taken a lot out of me. I feel a little bit 